So in this video, you're going to see how a community of YouTubers came together to expose a fake cancer fundraiser and get the person to confess to the fake cancer fundraiser in under a week. My name is Nate the Lawyer, and welcome to the Brody's Bunch, where you are the jury of today's content. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you hear. Let's get into it. So let's talk about this GoFundMe fraud. This is Sean Hufford. Now, along with Red's rhetoric, there's a previous video that I did on the channel, and that video is about this massive fundraiser scam that they committed. Now, essentially, they raised $10,000 saying that Sean needed the money to pay rent. Now, that $10,000 didn't go to paying rent. Actually, Sean just kind of took it and spent it on whatever. Here's a clip. Skip the lease for December. So no, the landlord was never paid. And then when people started to accuse me of fraud, I lied to everybody. So now we know that $10,000 was just essentially stolen. People were told that it was going to pay rent. He didn't pay rent. $10,000 gone. But now... Red's rhetoric is also involved in this cancer fundraiser scam. Now, this is Ilya Moon. Now, here's her YouTube channel. She's now formally known as Ilya Moon. Ilya needed assistance for what she described as oral cancer, cancer of the mouth. But so we all understand, this was 100% fake. She didn't have cancer when they asked for this money. Recently, I became aware of a fundraiser held by a member of the debunking community who goes by the name Elia Moon. The fundraiser was held on the channel Sit Down With Debunkers and co-streamed on the channel Red's Rhetoric to help increase the donations and possible audience. The fundraiser was claimed to be for treatment for stage one cancer in her jaw. Questions started to be raised about the legitimacy of the fundraiser and after the recent drama involving Sean Hufford lying to everyone about his fundraiser. Skip the lease for December. So no, the landlord was never paid. And then when people started to accuse me of fraud, I lied to everybody. I decided that enough damage has been done to the community and the only way to stop it is to get to the truth myself and stop any rumors. So I spent the better part of the last four or five days investigating this fundraiser and here are my final conclusions. It was a scam. The whole thing was a lie. Elia lied to everybody. And here is why I say that. So about a year ago, they had this fundraiser on Red Rhetoric's channel where Ilya asked the community for money to help her pay for cancer treatments. Check it out. I don't know. I just am very appreciative of everyone who's donated and everyone who's been there. And it means a lot to me. It is stage one. It hasn't spread. So we're getting it early, which means that I'm going to beat this. And when I beat this, we're going to celebrate. We're going to have the biggest celebration stream ever. And we're going to give back to you guys. So thank you so much. Um, one of, some of the symptoms with radiation, of course, is dry mouth, dry skin, um, all of that good stuff, which I have consistently right now. So I'm not going to really stay on the call, but I wanted to kind of come in, explain. I'm sorry if it was jumbled. If you want to ask me questions, you can Twitter me or get me on Discord, and maybe I'll be a little bit more put together in my response. This is just, you know, a little bit hard for me so i'm sorry but thank you all for joining and thank you for all the help it was a scam the whole thing was a lie Elia lied to everybody now after the fundraiser Ilya tweeted this i want to thank so many people for tonight thank you red's rhetoric for allowing us to use your channel thank you bullionator for producing and so many thanks to my sdwd family and goblin q chess for being live along with prime red we raised the money. We raised $2,718. My goal was 25 based on estimates. So I'm so blanking appreciative of this community and everyone who donated. This is going to go such a long way to helping me fight this battle. I am tired, but I am going to win. We got this. It was a scam. The whole thing was a lie. Elia lied to everybody. So during that stream, she presented some receipts. For instance, here's the first one, the second one, and the third one. Now, when you look at these receipts, they tell you nothing. How do you know they're for cancer? Hell, you really can't, even one is even hard to see. 
So questions started being raised. Like, really, is this the receipts that you want to provide to us to prove that the money went to paying for cancer treatments? These receipts don't tell us anything. So another YouTube creator, Unirock2, along with the YouTube Bureau of Investigations, better known as the YBI, started looking into things. Things just looked funny. Now, both Unirock and the YBI both were the ones instrumental in exposing the first GoFundMe scam for $10,000 for Sean Hufford. So the YBI first started looking into the medical assist for Ilya on GoFundMe. But the YBI found this other GoFundMe that said, help me pay for orthodontic bills. A PayPal account on the GoFundMe was to pay ill you moons. So when looking at both GoFundMes side to side, one being one month before, it just seemed obvious that the first GoFundMe, the one that you see here on the right-hand side, was a precursor to this second GoFundMe. The first GoFundMe seemed to just be for orthodontic bills. The second GoFundMe seemed to change it from orthodontic bills to cancer. The amount seemed similar. The date seemed similar. They were even going to virtually the same place. So a lot of questions were being raised. Well, was this second fundraiser actually for cancer or just to pay old bills? There were many other questions that started to be asked. So donors just asked, well, hey, can you show us a receipt that this was actually going for cancer? So Red's Rhetoric then steps in and says this. Just need to get this out. To the POS spreading rumors that Ilya Moon faked her cancer for a quick payday, go blank yourself. And to anyone who tries to harass her because those rumors, go blank yourself as well. Some sick blanks in the world. It's got 65 likes. And again, the community only asked her for a receipt to show that she was actually paying for cancer. It was a scam. The whole thing was a lie. Elia lied to everybody. Because of the overwhelming questions that people just said, let's show us the receipt that you paid this money to your cancer treatments. Ilya Moon produced this receipt. And here it is. She uploaded this receipt to GoFundMe. Now, at first look, the receipt looked legit, and we all kind of considered the case to be closed. But my friends at the YBI took a closer look. They found glaring, glaring errors with this invoice. Duplicate invoice numbers, grammatical errors, and even the wonky logo at the top. So this is where Johnny O from the plot hole and fight the flat earth come into the picture. See, on April 30th, we decided to call the hospital just to verify the receipt that was put onto the GoFundMe site. Because the receipt was supposed to be evidence that the funds were going to pay for cancer treatments. So after we called the Thompson Cancer Center and provided them this receipt, and we also provided them the GoFundMe page. So after Thompson Cancer Survival Center looked at all the receipts, along with the help of Johnny O from the plot hole and Fight the Flat Earth, we found that the Thompson Cancer Survival Center could not verify any of these receipts were legit. Matter of fact, they even went as far as to say that the person was never a patient at their center. So at this point, Red's Rhetoric and Ilya Moon needed to convince someone that this was a legitimate use of the funds, that she actually had cancer. So they tried to get Fight the Flat Earth to vouch that the money was used for cancer and that Ilya Moon actually did have cancer. Ilya Moon then produced some documents to also convince Fight the Flat Earth that she was an actual patient. But the documents they produced had glaring errors on it, as Fight the Flat Earth says it now. She screen shared and showed us documents that she claimed were downloaded only minutes ago from her patient portal on the Thompson Cancer Survival Center that she claimed were detailed bills of the receipt she'd posted. Reds and I immediately noticed errors, including a date saying that the year was 2010 and another date with the backslash missing between the day and year. Very sloppy work for a hospital accounting department. So these documents were fake. Ilya Moon made a fake phone call to the cancer center, trying to convince Fight the Flat Earth that she legitimately was a patient at the cancer center. When she came back, there was no screen sharing, but a new plan. She was going to call the Thompson Cancer Survival Center with Reds and I on the phone. What happened was clearly scripted and a fake phone call to a fake Thompson Cancer Survival Center. Fight the Flat Earth says, hey, just screen share your screen. Just screen share your screen and log into your patient portal. Ilya said she could not screen share. So Fight the Flat Earth left the call 
And then miraculously, she was able to screen share, but only with Red's rhetoric in the room. Uh, I had to leave the call for a while due to family priorities. I do have two children. Uh, but while I was off the call, um, her screen share magically worked and she showed Red to screen share of herself logging into her bank account and showing that there were definitely payments to Cohen Health for the amounts claimed in the fundraiser. I believe this video is 100% legitimate and there were payments made. Um, this, however, did not confirm what the payments were for. First, they tried to convince Fight the Flat Earth with a fake phone call. Then they tried to pass some fake documents. And now they miraculously have this video when they couldn't screen share, but now they can screen share to show that she actually made payments to the cancer center. This video that was produced by Red's Rhetoric and Ilya Moon was now their calling card. This is the way we can prove that she had cancer and she used the money for cancer treatments. So then Red's Rhetoric posts this on Twitter. Both FTFV official and I witness Ilya log into her bank account and pull up her transaction history. That's a lie. Fight the Federer didn't witness it. He actually saw a video of it. Uh, I had to leave the call for a while due to family priorities. I do have two children. Uh, but while I was off the call, um, her screen share magically worked and she showed Red to screen share of herself logging into her bank account. And Red's rhetoric goes on to say payments to her cancer center were made. The amounts matched the invoices. She did not fake anything. Case closed. It was a scam. But FTFE clarified his position. He says, I saw a video of Ilya Moon logging into her bank account showing four payments to Covenant Health, not the cancer center. I believe this video is 100% legitimate and there were payments made. Um, this, however, did not confirm what the payments were for. These seem to be legitimate. I cannot and do not make the claim that the fundraiser was legitimate because there are many unanswered questions. Ilya Moon then also says, I called them direct with FTFE and Reds in a hangout, verified myself and validated I was a patient, my email on file and where to send my detailed documents I needed. FTFE and Reds heard that too. What happened was clearly scripted and a fake phone call to a fake Thompson Cancer Survival Center. So now in a last ditch attempt to convince Fight the Flat Earth that this was legitimate, Ilya Moon then sends Red's Rhetoric more invoices. Red's Rhetoric then sends those invoices to Fight the Flat Earth. But these invoices all have major, major errors on them. The next day I was forwarded that email that she said that she had uh, requested. Um, she'd sent that to Red's and then Red's forwarded it to me. Um, after some checking, it was clear that there were many glaring errors with incorrect dates, invoice numbers, and amounts paid. Far too many errors at this point had been stacking up. I mean, it was embarrassing. They were all fake. You had on one side all this evidence showing that this fundraiser was fake, and one piece of evidence on the other side, a video produced by Red's Rhetoric and Ilya Moon. So I then wrote this on Twitter. Alleged fraudulent fundraiser update. The facts, inconsistencies with all the invoices, the hospital has no records of the person as a patient, prior go fund meets for the same amount but for different medical issues, prior invoices and new invoices don't match at all. This leads me to believe that this fundraiser may not be legitimate. I have contacted law enforcement and provided them with all the details and logs of my activities in an attempt to verify this was not a scam. GoFundMe has also been given the information. Since none of the information can be verified, I think the responsible thing to do is to report it to law enforcement. I will keep you updated on any developments as we work with the authorities to get a resolution on this issue. All parties are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. So this was the email that I sent to the Knoxville Police Department where the hospital is located, giving them a full summary and details with all of the attachments of what was going on. The next day, Sunday, Ilya Moon sent me this. She wanted to do a Hangout and says, let's do a Google Hangout. That full video is available on my channel. But for just the highlights, I presented her with all of the evidence, the fake invoices, the fake phone calls, the fact that the hospital didn't have her as a patient. Then after showing her all the information, all the fraudulent documents, 
Even the fact that the cancer center says she was never a patient. Ilya Moon confessed to both forging the documents and to never being a patient at the cancer center. So, so just to be clear, you weren't a patient at Thompson Cancer Center. Because no. I'm, I'm I have to call them now because they were going to report it to the authorities too. No. So I just want to make sure because I'm no, going to no. gonna call them and say, patient at Kent Thomas Cancer Center. Before I call no. them, I don't want to stop them from doing their doing it. So you were never a patient there, all right? No. Legitimately was having treatments and legitimately going through cancer. However, however, I will say it wasn't through helps and cancer treatment because what where I went through it doesn't have cancer in the title and it made me nervous that saying it wasn't it was anyway, it made me nervous. So I replaced the header with Thompson Cancer Cancer Center. All right. Well, see that 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 that's that's fine. That that makes a <laughs> that, that that you know that makes a lot of sense. And uh-huh. I'm sorry I did that. That was a lie, and it was wrong of me to do. And I'm sorry I wasn't trying to scam people. Now, after this, you would have suspected that Red's rhetoric would have been upset that she lied to him. But as Fight the Flight Earth explains, he was really upset at the fact that she came clean to me and not him first. He got to the point where he just had to ask the question outright. You know, uh, he was annoyed that she had gone to to Nate because uh, he thought that he she should have made that um, those confessions to him first because of what he's put on the line and and me as well because of what I've been doing the past few days and um, you know so he phoned her he was very angry at her and she admitted in that phone call that yeah she fibbed about the cancer she made this final public statement I have retained a lawyer and will be working with them and GoFundMe whom has been contacted already to confirm and refund all donations received through the GoFundMe presented last year on my behalf. I will say there are missteps I made and lies in the process. So now we have two fraudulent fundraisers, absolute frauds. So when we put things together, we see Sean Hufford, his pay my rent for $10,000 fundraiser was a fraud, but he couldn't have done it without Red's rhetoric. And then he is Ilya Moon with the I Got Cancer fraud raiser that was absolutely a fraud. And again, she went through Red's rhetoric. Says that he won't even apologize to his fans for hosting two fraudulent fundraisers on his channel. Fundraisers that have been held on this channel to help Sean Hufford keep his head above water when he was unfairly fired from his job. So, no... The landlord was never paid. And then when people started to accuse me of fraud, I lied to everybody. The, the question that's coming up is, am I scamming people? This is the question that has been brought up. And with that question, my integrity is also being questioned. Um, I mean, it was a scam. The whole thing was a lie. Elia lied to everybody. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. It really was a don't. scam. The whole thing was a lie. Um, Elia lied to everybody. I guess the, I guess the only thing I can say about that is, um, I think the next star six SE is just what I need for smooth rocket tracking, resulting in epic amounts of flat earth butter guys i think that's exactly what i need so you know what tomorrow we are going to be having a fundraiser to raise some coins so i can get this computerized mount so i can track those rockets super smooth it was a scam super nice the whole thing was a lie i mean it's going to be easy lie to everybody so we have two absolute scams that were run here on youtube all on the same channel special thanks to unirock who broke the story Special thanks also to the YBI who did a lot of the background investigations and paperwork to help us get to the point where we're at. Also, special thanks to Fight the Flat Earth who worked with me tirelessly to both validate all the information and to confirm or deny whether the facts and circumstances about this case were true. And as we found out more information, we found out that they were all lies. And special thanks to Johnny O from The Plot Hole 
who also was instrumental in helping us figure out that this information presented to us were lies. So at the end of the day, Sean Hufford stole about $8,000 from this community and was cast out. Ilya Moon faked having cancer. So now you are the jury, you have the facts, and you decide. It was a scam. The whole thing was a lie. Ilya lied to everybody. Let me know in the comment section if you think this was a scam or not. My name is Nate the Lawyer, and I will see you next time. Peace.